Hello guys, this is DJ Street Gym, the hip hop master representing G Prime Entertainment, and I'm here today with a tutorial on virtual DJ scratching. And without further ado, let's jump in. So, well, according to the mappings I've already set on my keyboard, is that key B, the action is scratch minus 120 microseconds. Then key F is Q stop. Then key G is a scratch plus 120 microseconds. So if I now, if I hit G, it will be a forward scratch, 120 microseconds. That plus 120 microseconds, just like that. That's a plus 120 microseconds. And then my D is a minus 120 microseconds. So if I hit D, just like that. So we can do a basic baby scratch like this. And then, so, as you can see here, key F is a cue stop. And then, key C, as you can see here, key C is a cue stop by default. But so, I set my F to be a cue stop so that I can get to it easily because I. The keyboard is aligned as A S D F G. So I chose to place F as a Q stop for ease of access. So if you want to achieve the scratches, okay, these kind of scratches, don't play the song. Just mess around using the Q stop. So in this case, never press play. Just hold on to the Q without releasing. You can choose either if you are set F to be a Q stop, like this. If you set F to be your Q stop like this, just press F down. If if you press F without releasing, the song will play will play from the current Q. But uh, but then if you look at C, it is still a Q stop. So if you press on to C without releasing, that's where the song will keep playing. But once you release that key, the song will stop. So in this case. that but if you are scratching and then you want the song to play just scratch and then hit play the space key on your keyboard is a play button by default and then P is still a play button by default not unless you change okay so if you're scratching and then you just you just press on your cue and the song is playing and then you want the song, to, the song to keep playing without stopping. Don't panic. When you're still holding on to your Q button, just while still holding on the Q button, press on the play button and then release the Q button. The song won't stop. It will keep playing. Just like this. Okay, I'm so sorry guys, but I wish there was a way I could be showing you using the on-screen keyboard, but I realized it won't work that way. So, just like this. Scratch. Hold on to the Q button, release it, scratch, hit it again, and then you can play while still holding while still holding down the Q button, and then you hit the space button and then let go of the Q button, just like this. Press the Q button right there, and then just press the play button. Okay, then there is another one. I'm back to the mapping. Okay, as you can see, D scratch, F Q stop, G scratch. So I've set another key A. My A says go to Q. Go to Q means that if I press A, it will jump to the Q that was active when the song was playing. So in this case, Q1 is the active Q. So if I hit G, that, that's the forward scratch. If I hit A, it will go back to the Q without scratching back, just like that. But if I scratch forward and then I hit D, that's a back scratch. If I hit 
G a for scratch and then I hit A, it will be a it will be a go to Q. So there's no scratch. And in this case, you have an advantage of getting another kind of scratch, just like this. Okay, so I'll, I'll still place it in the description of this video so that you can see the mappings I've set on my keyboard. And then after you set everything, just come, if it's a D, and then you type the action, for instance, mine, scratch negative 120 microseconds. Well, after you finished all the mapping, just click on this. You can rename the mapping the way you want it to be, and then save. Always save whatever you're doing. So in this case, Jim from J Prime Entertainment, the hip hop master, and well, have a good day out there and stay safe. Peace.